Hey, what's good, man? Sam Silk in the building, Sam Silk Show. And today in the <laughs> building, the Mickey Ficky building, I need to say, Bobby Brown. What's up, man? What's happening, baby? How you doing, brother? Man, it's good to see you, dog. It's good to be seen, man. Yes, sir. Yes, Thanks, sir. man. New CD. Folks are talking about it, man. You excited about the Masterpiece? I'm definitely excited about the Masterpiece. Um, it should be out sometime late May. The single was out right now on iTunes. Um, get out the way. Um, you know, I'm I'm real excited, man. You know, it's a new it's a new era. It's a new age of you know Bobby Brown music. Okay. When you say that, is it is it uh, more mature? I mean, is it what is it more experiences? What's happening in music? I mean, it's just it's just the things that I've been through in the last past thirteen to fifteen years. You know, um, I was able I was able to grow, man, and able to you know find out find myself again. And love myself again enough to you know do music again. Um, this album is just it's ridiculous. I mean, I got songs on there that I wrote like ten years ago. Oh wow! You know, so it's 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 something that um, that's why I called it the masterpiece because it's 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 not just it's not just this this age of music. It's it's music that everybody can relate to. Anybody it, timeless. It, timeless music, you know, like Stevie Wonders, you know, and songs in the key of life. You know, that's what this album is like. Right, right. Uh some of the producers on this one, man. Who I'm you working with? with some young cats, you know. Okay. Um just cats that, you know, uh are, are willing to make good music and willing to take the time and, and, and do good music. I'm working with a cat out of out of Shy actually called Blaze. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working with Blaze. Um, I'm working with um, um, Whitey and Jarrett out of um, Detroit. I'm working with, um, oh man, um, Benjamin Franklin. Okay. You know, I'm I'm, I'm just I'm I'm, I'm doing yeah, yeah yeah I'm doing some good things and um, the music is is top notch. So that's that's all that people need to know. It's it's not about you know who's the hottest producer to work with. It's about doing good music and that's right, what we're doing right, right. i want to mention his name um and and i saw you guys when i was in la at the grammys you all connected uh jimmy jam terry lewis me and jimmy jam and terry lewis man we've been trying to get together trying to put something together um i'm hoping that they make the album excuse me i'm hoping that you know we we come up with uh you know a funky enough song to yeah. to just kill him um you know, I'm I'm all about funk. I'm all about love. I'm all about you know, you know things that things that that play good. You know, you right. ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to turn this the CD off. Right, right. You know, you ain't gonna have to skip, not <laughs> one song. You know, yeah. It's gonna be all good. Now, Bobby, you still dancing, man? I'm still dancing, still okay. dancing a lot. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I practice twice a day. So, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, I'm I'm still dancing, man, and that that keeps me um healthy and it keeps me you know. It keeps me focused, man. You know, after being on, you know, the drugs that I was on for so many years, you know, I'm six years clean now, God, you know, cool. and it's it's just, you know, that 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 keeps me focused. It keeps me healthy. If there are people listening, man, and and they they have they had that or they having that problem that you had. How did you uh, get off the drugs? What happened? What was that breaking point? Um, my breaking point was just looking at myself, seeing myself, and 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 analyzing, you know where I came from and, and, and how my mother raised me, man. My mother didn't raise me to be no, you know, right. no head. So, you know, um, and then watching the, the um, Being Bobby Brown series, you know, um, that that further let me know that, you know, I need, I wanted to clean up my, my act and, you know, be better for my children and be better for myself and my family. And um, having a new relationship, I think, helped me, you know. Congrats on a, on a newborn, too. Yeah, my new son, um, Cassius, he's 23 months, and um, he's just the light of my life, man. All my kids are of age now, so, you know, they're from 25 to 18, but he's 23 months, and he's just like, he's he's a little light-skinned me, you know. I've never thought of myself as being light-skinned, but he's just a light-skinned me. How do you deal with speaking to kids, man? When folks uh, they try to attack your daughter, come out with these rumors and things about your daughter. How do you deal and how do you handle that situation? Because your daughter, you know, they, they, you know, she's popular. Yeah, she's popular. Um, but I just I sit down and I talk. You know, um, it's about it's about communicating with your kids and 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 knowing who they're hanging around with. She was just hanging around. Well, she was dating the wrong guy, and um, 
he tried to take advantage of 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 her and uh try to take advantage of her playing a joke with her mom and her playing a joke you know with others and um it just got taken out of proportion it got taken out of you know the light that it was actually in um but she's a good girl she's um she's in the studio recording her album and i'm yeah. looking forward to the people hearing her stuff man. you help it Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. My mom's helping too. Whitney helping too. Yeah, she okay. has she has a mom's voice in my legs, so okay. she can't lose. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I know Whitney got some nice legs, but you know, she ain't got dancing she legs. Ain't got no dancing legs. <laughs> nah, she ain't got no dancing legs. Man, you know, I want to do this. Want to go back just a little bit, man. My condolences is on on losing on you, you know, your mom making a transition. My mom's, you know, made hers. I saw some of the clips of the service, uh, the home going, um, and to see. All of you guys get a new addition with the whole family. Um, it, it was touching, man. I can see how your moms had kept all of you all together. Your mom said a connection would seem like everybody, man. I mean, you can feel it. Yes, with everybody. My mom was the type of mother that will, you know, cuss your ass out and then um, sit you down and feed you a plate of, a plate of food, you know, home-cooked meal and give you a bed to sleep in and um that's just how she was, man. She was she was Ma Ma Brown to everybody, mm -hmm. and um, we're all gonna miss her dearly. Yeah. But you know, she's she's left enough back here for for us to appreciate her and 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 for us to, for us to you know know that she, we got an angel up there watching out for us, and nothing can harm us anymore. You know, because Ma Brown don't play. Right. You know what I'm saying? So any 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 um any weapon formed against me. <laughs> This is going to lose. This is going to lose, you know. Won't prosper, man. Sound like Johnny was in there trying to preach, man. What was up with Johnny Gill, man? Johnny Gill should preach. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of Johnny Gill, is that, I'm hearing talks about a new addition to another new addition album. Is that true? Well, the truth is uh, we all have been in um, talks, and, um, you know, we have all been in, um, how can I say, um, conferences you know mm -hmm. where where we're we're rekindling our friendship because if you know about business business can break up friendships mm -hmm. you know business and friends don't mix mm -hmm. um but we're learning how to be friends again before we you know go into the studio yeah. before we embark on this next tour um but we you know three times a week we get together yeah. whether on the phone or together and you know, we pray together, mm -hmm. we laugh together, we cry together, yeah. you know, so, you know, we're becoming friends again. And, and, yeah. and that's the that's the best part about the unity of New Edition and, and, and how much better it's going to be when we do release a new album and do do a new tour. Good, what were the last words you and your mom shared? I remember mine. What was yours? What, what did you all say to one another? What did she say to you? She was telling me to take care of my fiance. She was like... You know, you got to make sure that she take, you know, that she gets a um, B12 shot because she, my, my, my fiance was sick at the time. She was, you know, she had a cold or something like that. And um, I just remember my mom making sure that I take care of her and Cassius and, and, um, you know, make sure that I, you know, stay healthy. She wanted, you know, she just wanted us to be healthy and, um. She's always like, she was always like that. She was either fighting with me or she was, you know, telling me how, you know, to stay healthy. What's the worst whooping you ever got from mom? What was it about? The worst whooping? I, wow. Whoa. <laughs> worst whooping I ever got from my mom. Um, I had had a fight with one of my teachers. I had beat one of my teachers down. Oh, Bobby. And, um, <laughs> That'll do it. And, you know, she... She had to come get me because she, she, I mean, she worked at the school, but she had to come get me from the principal's office. But she didn't know what had happened. Mm -hmm. So she got me home and, you know. <laughs> she, and that was it. She laid into me, man. <laughs> Y'all got to give it up. Bobby Brown, man, a living legend, man. Make sure you pick up the CD. Comes out in May, the masterpiece. The masterpiece comes out in May, late May. Uh, the single is out right now. Um, it's called Get Out The Way. It's on iTunes. You can pick that up. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, King Bobby Brown. Um, what else? Yeah. You on Facebook too, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about Facebook. Just the Twitter. Just Twitter right now. Bobby Brown, ladies and gentlemen.